Hello friends, good afternoon, uh, rather good day uh, from India. So friends, today we are having a presentation altogether, a different one. It is about introduction to AppSim model because in this series of lectures, we are going to have, rather I'm going to tell you something about different models, a few presentations on each and every model. Today, we are going to have AppSim model. You know, this is most important models actually been used worldwide for different uh, um, purposes. And uh, you know what is AppSim model? The AppSim model, the AppSim stand for Agricultural Production System Simulator. And where can you find this model? You can go directly to www.appsim.info or you can Google it in the Google, just type AppSim model and what you'll find, the AppSim homepage. And straight away, you can go to the AppSim homepage and you'll find this information. And this is the page. This is, you can find what is about the model, the AppSim page. Then you can download. And how do I download the model? You can find it from here. Before that, you can see that this is the leading software framework for agricultural systems modeling and simulations. They call it the system model, though the crops are part of it because it is taking care of so many things together. That it is not only just a crop model, it takes care of other aspects of agricultural systems, which I'll come to you in the latter part of my presentation. So I have a few slides on AppSim for you just to let you know what is this model is about and what it can do and what we want as students, researchers, or as scientists, what you want to do, and what this model can do for us. Being in agriculture or allied fields, this model has tremendous applications and potential to simulate diverse agricultural systems. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's go. And if you download this, and if you open the AppSim model, you know what you find? It is fine. This is the phase where you can find different categories, you know, maybe med file, clock summary files, and all those things you can find it. But I'm not going to tell you right now about this in details because I'll give an overall view of this model, not the detailed description of how you can run the simulation in this model. So uh, friends, let's stop this one here and we will keep it for future. And we'll move to actually the brief introduction about this model. As I told you, AppSense stands for Agricultural Production Systems Simulator. It's a modular modeling framework. So everything you get in module C, it's crop modules, canopy. See, uh, these are all wheat, maize, sorghum, all these models. Then uh, you can see it's a modular framework and it simulates all the biophysical process that's happened in soil farming systems. So, and it links to socioeconomic as well as ecological outcomes of different management practices under climate variations. That means change in your temperature, change in your rainfall pattern, change in your carbon dioxide concentration. This model will help you simulating effect of different climate parameters or the climate change impact on crops and cropping systems, soil processes, etc. Et 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 so what is AppSim then? It's a highly advanced agricultural system model created to model system performance over time. Because what you get, the result or the output is over time and with an equal emphasis on crop and soil dimension. That means taking care not only crops as well as soils. So soil properties, soil profiles, what are those soil parameters, physical and chemical parameters, and what are those manage, soil management practices that affect crop growth. So that is also being taken care by this model with a capability. It has the capability to deal with comprehensively, you know, different management matters, and you'll get to know once we work on the, with this model. And what it does, well, the soil models, the soil provides the central focus, crops, seasons, and managers come and go. That means it's a plug-in and pull-out type of model, and finding the soil in one set and leaving it in another. So. Uh, what this model AppSim does. Actually, it features mechanistic growth of crops, pastures, trees, and wheat. That are already, I told you what is a mechanistic model. So the mechanism involves in the crops, pastures, and trees, 
relation to the growth and development being simulated by this model to so dynamics populations with a seed bank. Key soil processes are also, are also simulated by this model that could be, you know, this could be your water, solute transport, nitrogen mineralization, carbon simulations, you know, phosphorus and soil acidity or pH. Then what extra things it does, it also works on soil residue di dynamics and soil erosion. In soil residue dynamics, it can be your any type of residue. Suppose in any cropping systems, you have a cereal cereal cropping system or cereal legumes cropping systems, you can have residues. That means you can work on some degree to some extent the conservation of agricultural systems are the leaving the residues behind or incorporating this residue, how it uh, helps in dynamics of different soils and carbon and nitrogen processes in soil. So even because of residues presence in the soil, it also works on your know, uh, soil uh, conservation system. So it can be, it can also work in dry land or irrigated systems. Dry land, it can be in the grain fed system as well as irrigated systems. And it has a range of management options. You know, if you remember, I told, I presented you before you different management practices could be the Newton management practices related to nitrogen, when you are applying, how much you are applying, what type of fertilizer you are applying. Uh, it is just like I mentioned above irrigation, number of irrigation types of irrigations, uh, the, the volume as well as all these factors, you know, what are those management practices that are for that you, you know, follow in any crops or cropping systems, you can also work with this model. So crop rotations and cropping systems are following. This is the advantage of this model. It's even if you have different crop rotations, you can have different cropping systems. You can also go for short term or long term effects of those crops and cropping system or different management practices on soil properties as well as on plant growth. Need. You can also. So one point or multiple point dimensions, multiple point have a high software engineering standards support multiple languages. So this is different. It's also linked to livestock models. Also, this is the model which was linked to livestock. This is a good module or model to work with. You know, these are all the features you can find in AppSimon, and this beautiful model is capable of you know simulating all these effects, whatever is all these features you know in agriculture and our life is. So as I mentioned you, the AppSim is just like plug in and pull out. Modularity modules, so it has different crops and soil modules and margin modules. So you're simply the models which you require, you just work with that. Suppose if I say that I want to work with soil water, soil water balance, or soil nitrogen, or carbon, or surface organic matter, I just want to work with that. And your the effect of this surface organic matter or presence of residues and crops and cropping system, different soil properties, you can also work. So you need those things, don't require you know other modules to work with this so this is plug in and pull out uh, whatever you require you just uh, be, bring it to the paddock and if you don't require just pull it out so this is uh, a beautiful model in that sense that it's so simple to work with and easy to understand the model is the structure is so simple it is just uh, i feel you know in my um, career so far whatever i have been doing in this model it's a beautiful model to work with and you know this this model is a process based model if you know that it daily times stay every day you get the output the plant growth or water or nutrient uptake whatever you want to know it's so daily times to get the output from your input or from your management practices it depends on what type of parameters you require as output so traditionally a single point model so this is about the apps models and what are those modules it has different models as i mentioned the crops and soils and different management models you can see the red models bit as interest like collaboration. So this, whatever red colors you'll find, these are being interest collaboration model of the AppSim. And but whatever been developed by them is been in black. So what are those environmental uh, modules? You can see that metallurgy, micrometallurgical soil work, swim, it has equation, soil nitrogen, solute movement, surface organic matter, erosion, soil temperature, water surface, you can find, as well as in management practices, irrigation, fertilizer, intercrop, cropping. Crop mixture, intercropping, it is a beautiful model to work with intercrop. Most of the model doesn't. So this is the model. It it works, you know, intercropping system. Also, you can have different crops and crop rotations. So these are the crop modules, as I mentioned earlier. These are all the soil modules that you can work with this. So 
So friends, what are you waiting for? Go and download AppSim model from www.appsim.info and you'll get the model downloaded in your computer. Uh, and it is freely available. You don't have to really work hard for that. Simply register yourself with your email ID and what are the purpose you are going to use this model. So this is the purpose, this is the scope of the model. So what it does, it actually simulates growth and yield of crops, pasture centuries, and different key soil processes. It is could be water, it is water, nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, soil pH, that is your acidity. Then surface residue dynamics, so mulching, you can see in that one cent you can do on surface erosion also. So it also works on diverse range of management options that I mentioned so many times in my presentations earlier. A crop rotations, mixtures of following or crop rotation, follow plus crop rotations or cropping systems, or you can go for intercropping also. And what it does actually it evaluate the cropping systems as an image emerging adaptation alternatives in case of uh, your climate change impact analysis. So validation of crop growth models under different tillage and residue management practices can do also on using this model. You, you, this model can be used for soil carbon dynamics or you can find the sequestration potential of, of different soils or different cropping system as well as different nutrient or carbon management practices or residue or conservation agriculture practices. So, Benefits of root simulation studies to uh, improve water use, you can have, you can do this using this model, modifying crop phenology and adaptation to future climate change scenarios, modeling the effects of climate variability and water management on crop water productivity and water balance, mulch and residue and irrigation management under conservation cycle studies. This is actually, I, I assume this model can be done. There may be many other, you know, activities or you can do using this model, you can simulate, use this model to simulate various processes that are in soils and plants. So if you use this model, what could be the perfect, you know, what could be the possible outcomes using this model? If I say this model can be used, you know, perfecting agronomy, crop agronomy, showing dates, plant population, nutrient management practices, yield predictions under changing climate scenarios, and also you can use these models for potential yield analysis as well as for, you know, um, yield predictions and soil water management, supplementary irrigation or for increasing water use efficiency to adapting cropping system crop rotations as well as most important one is yield gap analysis also you can use these models and then it can, you know, be used for evaluating crop diversification options which is very much important in context of climate change and climate variability and crop carbon sequestration and mitigation strategies in this model. So friends, this is one introduction to this model, to what can, what AppSim can do, what are those possible outcomes using these models you can find out, and what are those part, uh, you know, parameters that can be either input into these models and what are those models. So in brief, I told you many things about AppSim models. So why are you waiting for Go and, you know, uh, download the app, sim, register yourself and start learning. So you'll find various um, uh, uh, presentations uh, from the app, sim website. You can read, uh, you can watch those presentations and get yourself acquainted. Otherwise, wait for those training programs what are going to happen in India and otherwise around different parts of the world to take, uh, to grab that opportunity and learn about the app, sim model. So friends, uh, thank you very much for your kind attention and uh, this is about AppSy model. I will get back to you with another model very soon. So thank you very much and and I have to say that uh, you are really um, liking my channel and um, the subscriptions been increased to you know, more than 500 now. So I expect uh, more friends to come and join and take the advantage of this model. So thank you very much friends. So, Thank you and have a great day.